Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. Have you ever looked at an ECG, also known as an EKG readout, and wondered what all these squiggly lines represent? Well, it has to do with measuring the electrical activity of the heart. So let's first look at the heart. So I've drawn up a picture here. You can see that you've got the point or bottom of the heart called the apex that actually points towards your left hip and the whole heart sits a little bit towards the left within your chest cavity. And you can see that the heart has four chambers, two atria at the top, two ventricles down the bottom, what happens is that the atria fill with blood, then the muscles surrounding the atria contract, push the blood down into the ventricles. The muscles surrounding the ventricles contract, push the blood out of the heart. Now in order for the muscles of the heart to contract, they need to be sent electrical signals and that's what the ECG readouts look at. So that means one, you get an electrical signal to the muscles, two, the muscles contract, three, the blood moves around the heart. So, when we look at a normal ECG, for example, you can see that there's a couple of bumps and dips. The first bump up you can see here is actually picking up what's happening in the electrical activity of the atrial muscles. So you can see the blue lines here show the electrical activity. So what happens is it starts here and the electrical activity moves through the muscles of the atria like that. So again, the first bump up is measuring what's happening with the electrical activity of the atria. This is then followed by contraction. Then you can see a very big, steep spike here. This is representing the electrical activities of the ventricles. Now the ventricles have bigger muscular walls, which means more electrical activity, which means bigger spike. And so therefore, this big spike represents the electrical activities in the ventricles, and then following that is gonna be contraction of the muscles. And then you can see the very last bump, not very big, this is representing the resetting of the electrical activity throughout the entire heart so it can happen again. So, knowing all this, this is what's happening in the atria, this is what's happening at the ventricles, this is resetting of the heart. If you were to get an ECG readout that looks a little bit like this, which electrical activity component of the heart has been affected? The atria. And you know that one bump up is representing a nice spread of the electrical signal followed by one nice contraction. If you get a whole bunch of little spikes like this, it means the electrical activity in the atria is going all over the place. And therefore, what do you think is gonna happen with the contraction? It's gonna be like a bag of worms. It's gonna happen all over the place as well. Do you think this is effectively gonna push the blood down into the ventricles? No, it's not. This is termed atrial fibrillation. Now, it's not necessarily too bad because gravity will pull blood down into the ventricles. Now, if you get an ECG readout that looks like this, firstly, you'll likely not be conscious to be able to have a look at it, but this is showing you that the electrical activity of the whole heart is not firing off in a nice patterned way. This is called ventricular fibrillation, and it means that the electrical activity is going everywhere. So the heart, whole heart starts to contract like a bag of worms. That means no blood actually leaves the heart because there's no nice strong contraction of the ventricles. This is where you pull out the defibrillator those paddles and put a nice strong current through an individual and that should reset the electrical activity of the heart. That's an ECG.